To talk more about the state pensions here now is Wendell Steinhauer, who is president of the New Jersey Education Association. Uh, I was just looking at your website a moment ago, and it, it, the blaring headlines saying that Christie keeps misleading about the pension and that uh, your association has the solution. Please, if you have a solution, what is it? Oh, it's very easy. There's a pension problem uh, going on uh, in Trenton. Uh, the fix is really simple. Put money in it. That's well, been the problem that they have been say. doing. That, that's, just, that's simple to say, but uh -huh. to take, put money into the pension system, you necessarily, at this point, I understand it's been this way for a long time, mm -hmm. that they've been underfunding it for a long time, but at this point, it's about 10% of the budget that they would have to put into it, right, to, to fund it, and to find that money means something has to either be cut or taxes have to go up, no? Well, here's what happened. Remember when Chapter 78 got passed in 2011? Employees were told they have to contribute more to their pension system. That's fine, two percent more, which on the average is about twelve hundred dollars. They had to contribute to their health benefits from anywhere from between five and thirty-five percent, depending on uh, where you're at. The average there was about five thousand dollars. So there's sixty-two hundred dollars that they were said, we don't really care what's happening in your budget. This is the money you have to find. Nobody asked our members where they were going to find the money, what sacrifices they would have to make. The governor, governor has to do the same thing. He signed the bill. It's not like somebody did it for it to him. He knew what he was getting into. He has to work to, in New Jersey to grow the economy. We're one of the only states in this whole region that hasn't gotten their jobs back, hasn't created their ec economy. So I think a lot of the things the governor has been doing in these corporate giveaways, uh, throwing away money, if he, has, if he can find money to give corporate subsidies, why can't he go to that same place and find the money to put the pension in? And by the way, we're not asking for the full payment. We were on the seventh plan. He got the one-seventh, two-sevenths, three-sevenths, he came up short. Four-sevenths, he uh, came up short. Five sevenths is what we're looking at in the budget, and he's already said, I don't have a, that, enough of that money either. Partial payments. And when you make those partial payments in a pension system, the, the, uh, the amount that you have to put in later will keep growing and growing and growing. Currently, for uh, our pension system, the TPAF, it's, a, it's around 2.5 four billion dollars. It's funny when you talk uh, when they do polling on on pensions. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think anybody doesn't believe that the the pensions that were promised should be paid. Mm -hmm. I, I almost across the country people believe that you Absolutely promised right. a pension and you should pay it. But the future of pensions mm -hmm. is in some doubt and and public is starting to come against that where they're saying wait a second why do these government employees get a pension when I don't get a pension, when I have to pay into a 401k. Do you see a time when that will be more palatable at least to some of the state, uh, the government unions? Well, we go through that a lot and quite honestly a lot of those times when you compare why did they, uh, state workers get a pension and, and uh, other companies didn't, it's because they had a lower salary. They were offered lower salary, lower benefits, and to make up for that they said we'll we do something for you at the end. That's been proven out in study over study about the difference, you know, the, uh, that was one of Chris Christie's myths about private sector people are paid the, the less than public sector. It's completely wrong. There's few studies all over to d dispute that. But what you have here is, uh, I hear a lot of talk about, we'll change it over to a 401k. That would make the, fe the state government actually put, have to put more money in. They're getting a better deal by being in a defined uh, benefit pe contribution. But would the, would the employees, would the state employees be getting a better deal as well? If they to, were in a 401k? To be an employer? No, because then they, you're talking about individuals managing their own money. And I think if you looked out and talked to an or, ordinary people, do you have the time to follow the markets and to make the best moves? The, the idea of you get a big pool of money, and currently there's about, in all the pensions together, it's about $78 billion. And you take that pool of money and you have professional management of it. We have no problem with the professional management of what it's uh, doing. They returned 16.9% last year. That's, that's good. pretty good. Yeah, that's really good. And the, the pension system's assumed to grow at 7.5%. So that's not the problem.
The problem no, is you got to put money in for it to be working. I understand yeah. it's not the current problem. I'm just yeah. looking way years down the line, yeah. and if it would, if it's ever possible that that would happen, be, because there's pen, pension in state after state, there there are problems with. Yeah. It's not just New Jersey. It's not about with the governor in, in this latest lawsuit that's going to the Supreme Court. Even the Senate President and the Speaker uh, have come together and filed an amicus brief with us. I mean. The problem is here for the legislature and the governor to come up with finding the money. The t two of the three are already on board and quite honestly last year found the money and, f and funded the benefit. That's when the governor came in. They didn't fund it in. fully last year though. They funded the partial payment, the, the, the uh, four sevenths, the four sevenths payment. They, fa they found the money for that. The governor came in with his uh, line item veto and chopped it out. There's only one problem in this whole pension mess. That's the governor. There's only one problem in our economy and why New Jersey hasn't come back. It's our governor. Thank you very much. All right. I Thanks, appreciate Larry. the conversation. Wendell Steinhauer, the president of the New Jersey Education Association, would love to have you back, especially as court cases start to, to come out. We'd love to have you back. Love to come back. When we come back, uh, one of the big national stories, and it's a story that's also playing out in New Jersey, is the police versus the African-American neighborhoods. And there is a, a real push for community-based policing in New Jersey. That's the topic when Jersey Matters continues.